Let's see what happens. Ready to race is up. We are waiting for the green light, and there it is. And it's a great start from both Holman and Gunderson. Gunderson there getting his nose ahead, and oh, Holman just missing out there. It could have oh. Oh, big, big contact, oh, big contact. Huge contact. Sondra Evian out there on the gravel, huge contact between him and Holman. Holman does not back off, and round the outside of Gunderson goes Holman. Yeah, just oh. made it getting a bit wild there, as I think Gunderson maybe have a bit of a problem with his car. He was really crabbing on the way up to the uh, chicane there. As, yes, you can see the back left wheel of, of uh, Ben Philip Gunderson's car is damaged, so is, he is going to be struggling from here on out just a huge fight for positions as of course we expect in a final in rallycross but as you say problems for ben philip he has fallen all the way to the back of the pack now but holman there pulling a gap now after a frantic start able to to keep his uh, himself in there and uh, trying to build up the gap. The gap to Sondre Evgen behind him is 1.7, so already on a mission is Thomas Holman. Just like you say, on a mission, he is so dominant already. Still with four laps to go, though, anything can still happen. And Sondre Evgen there trying to defend his second position from Petter Norsa. Yeah, so the guys who have already joked on the first lap, Simon Olofsson there, is already on the back of Norsa. He's going to be hoping he gets in the joker lap so he can, he can get out of the way of Olofsson and so he can really start the chase down on to Thomas Holman once he does his joker lap. Just incredible pace from Thomas Holman. He's been away from competitive driving for a year and a half, you know, searching for a bit of motivation, needing a bit of money, which is much needed in motorsport. Yeah, so uh, a season, well, a couple of seasons out for Thomas Holman, but uh, back here and really good to see him out. And uh, considering he's not been driving for a year and a half, he, he's putting in a very impressive performance. So it seems to be a warning from the marshals there for Simon Olofsson. They're keeping an eye on him and... Uh that be from some contact at the start we're not quite sure let's uh, focus on Thomas Holman with his dominant final run here so his best rally X Nordic result previously is second place in the final of 2016 and uh, this will be an all-time you know high for him a top result a career best and you know him Dan what what is this going to mean to him Oh, he is going to be ecstatic. I mean, we've heard him over the uh, the speakers uh, with Speaker Gunnar here to, um, for his interviews, and he has been absolutely over the moon. He he didn't know what to expect coming here. He came here testing two weeks ago, and just to get him back in a car, really. And uh, he said his pace was good, and and uh, yeah, he's really showing it now, really pulling himself out in front and, and putting in a, an excellent performance. So we can all be pleased that Thomas Holman has decided to return to Rallycross, uh, a talent that shouldn't be uh, elsewhere than on the track. <laughs> no, so uh, Thomas's day job, actually, he drives uh, diggers. Really? So uh, maybe <laughs> all that digger driving has been paying off, but we see him going to the Joker Nap now for the last lap and really setting it up nicely like he did in Q3 and able Wonderful. to get himself out in front of Simon Olofsson. Oh, well, we have a new second place there. Car number 52, Simon Olofsson moves up into second place in front of uh, Sondra Evian. But uh, like we mentioned earlier, he has had a warning from the stewards. But it's Thomas Holman with that gap out in front. He doesn't look like he's going to be troubled here. He's coming around the... Uh... <laughs> up to the jump for the final time. I tell you, I cannot wait for that interview. Here we go then, last corner, crossing the finish line, checkered flag, Thomas Holman from Norway wins. We can see out of our commentary <laughs> position, Thomas just absolutely <laughs> threw the car over the line. Big donuts. He is going to be absolutely ecstatic. And he is hitting that steering wheel and his smile just comes out of that windscreen. What a happy driver. That's a comeback. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is a comeback. Yoda! Huge congratulations. Yes! 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 Thomas, <laughs> congratulations. I think it's safe to say Thomas Holman is back. Thomas Holman is back. This is, this is fantastic. I came here with some expectations, yes, but to be on top of the podium is my first one ever. Jeez, oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so happy. I, I, these words can't explain. Yalta! <laughs> oh, yeah. 
And Thomas, the pressure there was on throughout the race. And then the pressure started for pole position. You know, you couldn't afford to make a mistake, could you? Couldn't afford to make a do a mistake. And he got rough into the first corners. On down there, saw that Ben Philip Ben Gunn had a problem after the contact. So I just tried to go around the outside. It was crazy, but we managed to pull it off. It's a win. First one ever. And it's so fucking good here, though! <laughs> We apologise for the language there, but congratulations, Thomas. So this is the start of the comeback. What's next? <laughs> oh, we'll see, but for sure we had three races to do this season, but with a win now, we'll probably do some more. We'll see. <laughs> I want to say special thanks to my dad that made this happen. I thought that we like we're going to calm him down, and he gave me the opportunity to show real one four. He believes in me, and <laughs> oh, this is great. Thank you to everyone that has been supporting me, and yeah, it's so good. Go and celebrate. It's going to be celebration tonight with a calmness because it's race tomorrow. <laughs> oh, this is why we love motorsport, isn't it? We, we literally have tears in our eyes up here. So replay of the start of the race, which actually was Ben Philip who got out in front. Drama there for Sandra Evian. But uh, a good start also from Thomas there who went on to win the race later. But great action. Yeah, a bit of a messy start there, and of course, it is the all-important final race, so these guys really hustling for position, and contact there is, we know how tight it is into turn one, but Thomas putting the fight on and getting himself up in front. Just uh, incredible to hear him on the interview, so emotional, thanking his dad for believing in him. Uh, you know, that that's what you need. You need somebody who believes in you, and he clearly has such a huge talent that he needs to be out there and he needs to be developing. And now he has just won his first race. He is so fantastic, isn't it? And if you ever doubted how much it meant to him before, I'm sure he's shown you <laughs> what it means to him now. So it's fantastic to have him back. Absolutely brilliant. And um, we also have uh, Simon Olofsson slotting into second place and Sondra Evian into third. <laughs> I think I might tell Thomas that uh, if he wins tomorrow, he's got to do a backflip off the car. Oh, oh, we wait, might do one now. now. We <laughs> might do one. Come on, do a backflip. <laughs> Russell down there. Tell him to do a backflip. Serial dance. <laughs> 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 oh, we got a dance. We, we can live with a dance, can't we? So here are the results. Supercar Lights final won by Thomas Holman in front of Simon Olofsson. And third place went to Sondra Evian, a very unfortunate Ben Philip Gunderson, all the way down in sixth position. So this is what the championship looks like after round one. Thomas Holman all the way up at the top there with 30 points in front of Simon Olofsson and Ben Philip Gunderson rounding off the top three in the championship.